Hey everyone, it's Tip Tito or just Tito, it's up to you, I don't know. But I just want to make this week five follow up. Um, whew, I'm a little tired, I just woke up from a nap. My eyes are probably not red anymore, but they were red. I was looking a mess, looking crazy, but it's all good. I was just exhausted and fell asleep and didn't know it until I woke up. And I have to make this video before I go to bed because I'm supposed to make this follow up video every Sunday. So uh, basically life hit me this week. Um, you've seen the video already if you watch most of my videos on my channel, but I got a flat tire on Monday. Um, so that kind of threw me a curveball into my finances and just every area of my life because now my focus wasn't on things that I had in my to-do list, but it was on the tire situation. And my money situation was not, I have money saved up a little bit and whatnot, but I was planning on um, during the flooring and that was it. I don't want to spend money anywhere else because I need to save some money because I have other options to do when my job is over for the summer and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, which I'll make a video about that later, but I still need to have money saved up no matter what I do just to be prepared and uh, can't save it if I'm still spending it. So I've been budgeting and coming up with um, everything and I'm going to stop spending money on the van unless it needs to be spent mechanically. Well, my tire went flat and I have to have tires to drive and get anywhere, so I had to spend the money on them. So that was like an unexpected uh, turn in my finances as well. But um, I went to TireRack.com and got me two all-terrain tires, general grabbers. Um, I went to do all-terrain as one of my uh, viewers. He um, told me about it because I wanted something that would be well for my lifestyle and what I'm gonna do in the van and I may go boondock and random um, camp spaces and whatnot and it could be paved, it could be gravel, it could be dirt. I don't know and I'd rather be more prepared than underprepared. So, went with the all-terrain. Um, I like them so far. I ordered them um, on Tuesday and they got here by Wednesday. So that was good. But my work schedule, I couldn't get to the place to get it put on so my brother ended up helping me a lot. Um, my spare tire got stuck on the back. It's rusted on, so I had to get that cut off. Um, so I, that's why I had to go ahead and buy the new ones. I couldn't even just wait a little bit. Uh, so And I went ahead and bought two instead of one. So I didn't have like an uneven side or whatever, back side. Right. And so I was good, um, like prepping my food and everything at the beginning of the week. But near the end of the week, it just, a lot was going on. And um, my food that I prepped was already through, and so it was time to like make some more food, but I didn't either feel like it or didn't have time or something. I'm pretty sure I had time, but it just didn't get done. And so I was just throwing stuff together. So it wasn't the healthiest thing because I wasn't prepared. Remember my tip in the other video? I wasn't prepared, so I couldn't make healthy choices. And I was going, I was rushing, so, you know, it wasn't the best thing. Um, but I made it through the week, and I'm going to, jump back on the ball. I didn't, couldn't go work out because I couldn't get there because I had a flat tire. Um, but I will be getting back into that this week. Um, I was, did work a little bit on my blog and uh, I still didn't get a whole lot done. But like I said, I have this break to be productive in and that's what I want to do. I don't want to spend the whole time on the van um, during break. I, and I need to work on other things too. So I'm going to, like I said, get this floor done hopefully within two days and then be done because it's gonna rain again. All this supposed to be like 70 degrees on Christmas here, which is crazy. But it's supposed to also rain again and I don't want my cabinets and stuff to sit out there again. I'll have the tarp over it. I know like water can still get in if that wind gets to blowing. So I'd rather have it in the van because I'm not gonna carry it to the basement just to bring it back out. So I'd rather have it in the van after I do the floor. So I need to get that done ASAP. But uh, yeah, so my tip to wrap this up, because I'm tired, I'm going to lay back down, is discipline. So something I need to work on, and it's something that's important, is um, just having that discipline when, even when something happens, and life throws you a curveball or whatever, uh, which you know it will, um, having that discipline to continue to making the healthy choice. So even if I couldn't make it to the gym, I still could have worked out here. Like, even if it was like a short little, like, few push-ups, few crunches, you know, jumping jacks, resistance band, whatever it may be, I still could have did something here. And I didn't do that. Um, so having that discipline, I still could have made it happen. Having that discipline 
I would have had that food done. I would have been like, even if I'm tired, I'm still going to get up and go do it. So I still need to work on that. That's obvious. Um, uh, let's see. So, I can't read my writing. Yeah. So even if you don't get anything done as far as discipline, just um, jump back in it. And that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm um, jumping back in there. I'm just going to rest tonight. And then tomorrow I got some things to do. Um, I got some errands to run. I need to go to the store and buy some food and cook me up some stuff and juice. And I'm planning on doing a, a fast or something. So I, I need to plan all that out as well and then get this floor done. So that's what's happening. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been sticking around with me. Uh, especially on these videos because I know these videos aren't as entertaining and a lot of people follow my YouTube video uh, especially recently because of the van life thing and that's cool you know if you follow things you like and what entertains you whatever I get that um, but the ones that actually watch all of my videos or most of my videos especially if they don't even pertain to the the van life itself or the RV life uh, thank you because, you know, you're the true subscribers, I guess you say, viewers or whatnot. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you liking and subscribing and everything like that. Um, you know, this is real life. I like to keep it as real as I can. And uh, thank you for sticking around, you know, even if nothing's happening during these videos. But I hope you're having a good week or weekend or whatever time it is. I appreciate you. Um, grateful and uh, we're gonna see what happens uh, hope you're doing good and I'll check out later